Hey, it's your girl Bianca Bonnie from Love and Hip Hop New York. You already know I'm rocking with Real Fans, Real Talk. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus tricked young and intern time For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats, man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan and if What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Legend of Two Games, rapping for Real Fans, Real Talk. And if you're in the New York City area, make sure you're tuning in every Thursday night, 8 p.m., Verizon Channel 44, as we give you the breakdown on all the latest sports news. Ladybug is there with the rumor mill, and you never know what celebrities might pop in, man, so you should be tuning in. Also, want to give a special shout-out to a great friend of the show, our man H2O, as he prepares for a celebrity basketball game April 21st at the Elmcore Rec Center in Corona, Queens. If you don't have your tickets already, make sure you check out my Instagram page, Legend of Two Games, The Real Fans Real Talk Instagram page, or Haran's page, which is H, the number two, the letter O, and then the number five. Give you all the ticket details and give you the breakdown of what's going on that day. There's going to be a youth game, uh, obviously the celebrity basketball game, the slam dunk contest, which I'm really looking forward to because I'm going to be part of the judging plant panel. I'm going to be very tough on you guys, too. So make sure you come with, with some creativity. And if you're looking to get into the dunk contest, head over to the Real Fans Real Talk page and submit your video or a link to a video or something showing us that you could dunk, man. Don't just tell us you're going to be in the dunk contest. Because we're not just going to put you in there. You got to show us something before we put you in there. All right. But moving on, let's get into some basketball news. The big story of the day has been Trey Young declaring for the NBA draft. Kudos to him, man. We wish him much luck and success at the next level. Unfortunately, as a Knicks fan, I've got to say this. I don't want the Knicks to draft Trey Young. And I'm putting that out there. And some people may not agree. Some people may feel like, man, look, Trey Young is the truth. He's the next Steph Curry. Wrong. You're lying to yourself. And that's a lazy comparison, all right? Steph Curry showed us for three seasons at Davidson that he was the real deal, all right? And he actually came back for his junior season to tighten up his handle as a point guard because he knew what was coming from an NBA level. He knew that he had to be a better ball handler and a better distributor of the ball in order to convert his game from the college game to the NBA game. Trey Young, on the other hand, had a very good, very successful first half of his season, and then he struggled as the competition got better. If you look at his numbers, before conference play, he was averaging damn near 30 points a game. His numbers started to slip as they got into conference play, and they had to play the better teams within the Big 12. All right. Trey Young, I'm going to give you a couple numbers before you guys start telling me that he's the next Steph Curry. In his last nine games, his last nine games, he shot under 30% from three-point range, all right? That ain't Steph Curry-like, all right? In his last 11 games, his team lost nine of those 11s, nine of those 11. And don't tell me, oh, he didn't have the talent around him, and that's why the team wasn't that good. All right, that might be your opinion on it. But last time I checked, Steph Curry played at a smaller school in Davidson, a team that no one had ever heard of, and he found a way to get that team to back-to-back NCAA tournament appearances. So don't talk to me about lesser talent when they have other guys, other guys out there who have taken smaller, lesser-known schools and teams and taken them to higher levels than what Trey Young could take a well-known Oklahoma Sooner team. All right, he barely got into the tournament. They got bumped in the first round. Now I am going to tell you a freshman guard that I really like and a freshman guard who got the best of Trey Young when they played earlier this season. Colin Sexton from Alabama. And if I'm the New York Knicks, he's the guy I'm looking at because he's a guy that has a little bit of Russell Westbrook in him. He's a little he's a guy who doesn't care who's in front of him. He's trying to rip your head off when he plays you. And he's the type of guy that I want here in New York City. All right. Colin Sexton is a legitimate combo guard. He can handle the ball. He can play off the ball. He can score when he wants to score. And he's a much better defender than Trey Young. And if you ask me who the Knicks should be looking at, it's Colin Sexton. Not Trey Young. RealTalk.com. Well, Arthur Domus tricked Young and intern Tom for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh-huh. And if-